Hi everyone. So in today's video, I will show you that it is possible to schedule an assignment for a day other than today. We were very comfortable using that feature, which was really user friendly. I think it was just the click of a box um, inside Google Classroom. It's a little bit different here in Schoology. They don't have the exact same translation of that feature, but there are two options and I will show you both and you can choose which one works for you. So here I am in my practice course, and I have two types of options. Number one is an individual homework assignment. I didn't get fancy with any kind of folders, but today is September 14th, and I got a little bit ahead, and I planned homework for September 16th. I don't want this to be visible to the kids just yet. I don't want them to go ahead. So if it's an individual assignment, your option is to slide all the way to the right of that individual assignment, tap the gear, and choose Unpublish, and tap it again to verify. And you'll now see that that homework for September 16th is still there, but it's grayed out. I am the creator of the course, so I can still see it. But from the student's view, they will not see it. It is not published to students. The catch with this one is you now have to remember to go back in and publish it on the appropriate day. So perhaps, you know, the night of the 15th or the morning of the 16th, you're going to go in, tap the settings and switch it to publish so that it's visible. Okay. If you are a folders person, um, one of the recommendations that I learned while I was Googling around was if you would like to make assignments appear on a future date and you are working with folders, um, you can actually select a date that it will appear and you won't have to remember to make it active. The computer will do that for you. So I have shown as a sample here, I made a folder for a week of school, five days. And inside that folder are more folders. So anything that is a material or an assignment from Monday the 12th will live inside this blue folder, the 13th all the way down, right? So any mater assignments or materials are already planned out and added to these individual folders. Now, if I want, so Monday is fine. I want that one to be published. That's great. But Tuesday through Friday, uh, the kids are not ready for that stuff yet. So even though I've planned it and I've got my beautiful color-coded folders, I'm not ready for the kids to see it yet. So since it's a folder, I'm going to tap the gear again. But this time, I'm going to choose Edit. And in the pop-out window, you'll see a little uh, gray box down near the bottom that says Published. But if you click it, you have other options. So we can simply unpublish it just like we did for that individual assignment, or we can publish on a given date. So maybe I want Tuesdays to show up on Tuesday. So I will click that and choose the calendar and choose the date and hit save changes. You can add an end date if you want it to, you know, be uh, invisible after a certain time. Most people just sort of leave it, you know, running all for the rest of, you know, the quarter or semester. Um, so we're just going to hit save changes. So now we'll do the same for Wednesday and the subsequent days in the week. So we click the gear and edit and publish on start date. So this one I would like to publish on the 14th of September and so on and so forth. So now um, it's sort of like a set it and forget it, right? So if you're working with folders, you can set it to be visible to your students on a certain date. If you're working with an individual assignment, your only options are to be published or visible to the students or unpublished, which is invisible to the students and grayed out for you. I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions, you know where to find me.